Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial on Cisco Switch memory. There are four types of memory on a Cisco Switch, and we're going to go ahead and talk about each one, figure out what they do, what function they perform. It's good to know this stuff because either directly or indirectly, you work with the different types of memory pretty much every time you access a Cisco Switch. So depending on what you're doing, you could be involved with one of these types, and it's important to understand not only for Switch administration, but also for troubleshooting. So let's get started. Let's start with ROM, which stands for read-only memory. And it's a good place to start because when the switch first boots up, after you power it on, this is the first memory that's engaged. In the ROM, you find something called a bootstrap or a boot helper image. And this is a smaller system image. It's a mini iOS, if you think about it that way. And it has a very specific purpose. The bootstrap is responsible for locating the full iOS, which is stored elsewhere on the, on the switch, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And once it locates the iOS, it actually manages the process of getting it into the random access memory. So the ROM holds the bootstrap or the boot helper image, locates the iOS, and then gets it into the random access memory. And from that point on, the iOS, the full image, then takes over the operation of the switch. Next, let's talk about NVRAM, which stands for Non-Volatile Random Access Memory. And it's in the NVRAM where we find the startup configuration file. If you haven't yet checked out the other tutorial on configuration management, have a look at that. We cover the details of the startup configuration file. But for now, just know that if you need to locate it, this is where it's found in the NVRAM. And the reason why you find the startup configuration file in the NVRAM is because information is always retained in this particular type of memory. So when you power off the switch and you power it back on, the startup configuration file will still be there and it will be the same as when you turned off the switch. And that's important because if every time you lost power or reloaded the switch, you lost your configuration file, well, you'd have all this work to do all over again and you would cause a network outage. So the NVRAM information is retained, very important. And it's important to know that there are no moving parts in this type of memory. This is random access memory, which is great because it means there are less things to break, which contributes to the longevity of the switch. Let's look at a command you can use to check out the NVRAM. Okay, a useful command to check out your NVRAM is dir NVRAM colon. And you can see here we have our startup config listed. And it's also useful to see the total size of your NVRAM, which is also listed here. When you type this command, don't forget to include the colon. And you can just NV and then tab to complete it. If you tried to do that without the colon, it's not going to work. So important note, make sure the colon's on there. The next type of memory we want to talk about is flash memory. And it's in your flash where you'll find the Cisco IOS. So the full image that eventually gets loaded, that is located in flash. And the flash memory can be internal or external. So some models allow you to supplement your flash memory with an external flash card. And not only can you put a Cisco IOS image here, you can also put other files here too. I mean, this is flash memory. You can put whatever you want in there essentially. So you can have multiple Cisco IOS images in there. You can use it to store a backup of your startup configuration file. It's a handy place to store files. And there's one command we want to check out to enable you to take a look at your flash memory. So the show flash command will give you a view of all the files in your flash memory. So you can see here we have our system image that's currently running on this Cisco switch. Also, similar to the NVRAM, we're given the total size of the flash. And you can also use the dir command for flash. Just make sure you have the colon on there when you use the dir. You can see it's the same output. So you can use show flash or dir flash. The last memory type we'll cover is RAM. Stands for random access memory, or sometimes you see DRAM, and that's just dynamic random access memory. And the RAM is used for working storage, similar to a PC. This is what the switch uses to actually operate, to function. 
And it's important to note that the running configuration is stored or found in RAM. When a switch is power cycled, when it's reloaded, the RAM is flushed and everything in it is gone. So it's not a permanent storage memory. Okay, so to summarize, we talked about four different types of Cisco switch memory, the ROM, the NVRAM, the flash, and the RAM. And we looked at two commands, the dir NVRAM to check out your NVRAM, and the show flash command. Also note, you could use the dir flash command as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching.